Right, because we deleted our item from here and rename it to our loan and payment, now we have some errors we need to fix. So let's go to our code here. I'm going to actually close the canvas now. We're not going to use that. So um, let's start from the top here. When we are fetching our items from our core data, now it's called items and this type of item which doesn't exist anymore. So let's say that we want to fetch loan instead. And then for the name, let's call these loans. One thing to keep in mind is every time you add something to the core data entity here, to our core data stack, you may need to reload your Xcode because sometimes Xcode doesn't understand that we have this loan or these payment items that uh, we want to use it. So if you have issue with it, it's the best way. Just close your Xcode and open it again. So on top here, we want to load our loans. See now mine is uh, auto-completing because I actually restarted my Xcode. And um, here for the key path, what we want to do before we had this timestamp, but I want to uh, sort them. This is our sort descriptor actually. I want to sort all my loans by their starting date. So we say start date. If you want to put like which one is due first, you can use the due date here, but I'm using my uh, start date. All right, maybe you want to use uh, which one uh, is uh, you took more, which is your total uh, amount, right? So we have our view context here, this stays. Then we have our fetch request with a sort descriptor, which we are just basically sorting all our loans with their starting date. And then we have our uh, loan object that will hold the, the array of our loans that we are getting back. So now our for each, we just want to show our loans instead of items because there are no more items. And this uh, we will call loan because for each loan, this is access to each variable here. So what we want to do, let's instead say we want to print uh, loan and we want to get the name. All right, and formatter, there is no formatter here. This is a text actually. So we can say loan dot name. And this may be optional, but this is optional actually. So it may be nil. So we can just put our default value here. And we are going to say, um, let's say unknown. In case if our loan name is nil, if actually we go to our core data here, we can select our name, open the right panel here, and we can see that it's ticked as an optional. So all of our uh, values here, actually, if you check, they are all optional. So they may have a value or no. So in order to make sure our application doesn't crash by force unwrapping our name, we just put that in case if it's nil, please show an unknown there. Okay, so this get rid of our errors there. Now for adding an item, which we're creating an item here, but now we want to create a loan. And obviously our loan doesn't have a timestamp. So let's call this new loan and let's give it a name. Let's give some default values so we can test our code is working. So we say new loan name equals test loan uh, new loan dot total amount is equals to 100,000. And uh, what we have a uh, new loan starting date will be our current date and new loan that due date. Again, let's put our current date just for testing purposes. This part I'm going to get rid of. This part is basically do catch block in order to save. Um, we don't want to crash if the save didn't work. So let's instead of 
a fatal error and actually this part let's get rid of it and say let's say print uh, could and save to core data and we can pass our uh, error here localized description you can put a comma and write like this or you can use string interpolation here and put this inside here whatever you prefer both ways are working then for delete item again uh, instead of loan uh, items now we have loans and this basically we pass an uh, index path we will look into this uh, later i'm just going to put these things here that we don't have any more errors and uh, what we have here uh, this is our preview let's see persistent controller preview has no member preview let's go to our con persistent controller yeah because we actually deleted the preview so oh, oh, we don't really need anything here so let's get rid of this and we say that we just want a loan view command p to build our application and looks like we have no more errors which is good we can bring back our canvas if you want and let's click on resume I'm on 75% because I'm using a small screen here so I make sure everything fits but um, what is actually important here not our canvas because it cannot load our items so let's run our application on the simulator actually I will hide my canvas here so it doesn't take uh, time to load that right let's go to our application here it takes a few seconds to load and once it loads we should see the add item button here hopefully all right so the add item is here uh, once i click on it it should create a dummy loan object called it test loan so let's create it's called test loan and right now we are only printing the name of our loan in our for each so if i click more it will just create more and more we can try to delete and our delete function is working as well okay it's uh, everything is nice everything is working but right now it's a little bit messy we are going to uh, factor refactor everything here into mvvm uh, structure so we don't have all this information here but um, what i want to do is basically we are going to start from the setting up a little bit of our user interface now because we have our navigation uh, view we can start with putting a title here so we have some basic user interface and then we are going to code what i want to point out um, first of all is we're not going to really do any fancy design here uh, the design is going to be minimalistic uh, the the point of this course is mainly to teach you how to use core data and also how to transfer your uh, data data flow in the swift ui and not the design part because this is the hardest part usually with swift ui when you are especially you are coming from the normal swift with a storyboard it's very hard to put your brain into uh, thinking differently for swift ui and the hardest part is how to transfer the data between the views and how to use the mvvm um, structure so the main course uh, point is to transfer data to use core data how to save how to pass the data between the views and how to use mvvm here and uh, saying that uh, let's in our next lecture we're going to start building our user interface again minimalistic and then we're going to start adding editing and deleting our items in our loan